Well, it's a campaign ad you've got to see. Since I've announced my campaign, people mostly ask me how long have I been a Republican? Where do I live? What school did I attend? I suppose they're just trying to get to know me or put me in a box. Did you know while growing up, we went half the winter without heat? Or that I think best while listening to Frank Sinatra? The last concert I attended was Lil Wayne. Yes, Lil Wayne. My favorite NBA player is Dirk Nowitzki. Go Mavs. I take it personal when people mistake poor for lazy. And unfortunately, no, I cannot swim. My favorite book of the Bible is Ecclesiastes. It's the only book I've read where God gave a man everything. He lost it and lived to tell about it. I was the first in my family to earn a four-year degree. And one of the best things about me is that I married very, very well. Now that you know a little about me, do I really fit in a box? See you on the campaign trail. Well, our next guest makes it nearly impossible for his opponents to put him in a box. Darius Foster, Republican candidate for the Alabama House of Re Representatives, joins us now. Good morning. Good morning. You know, so that's probably one of the most compelling campaign ads out there. How did you come up with the idea? Well, um, my wife and I sat down and wanted to uh, figure out a way to you know, let voters know that uh, I'm not just one thing. And uh, we browsed YouTube and uh, kind of uh, uh, jotted some things down and came up with that. Uh, so I, I called my family and I called some friends over and uh, a buddy of mine recorded it in front of my house uh, on my street. And uh, it cost all about 300 bucks. <laughs> wow, you know, that's actually so fiscally responsible of you. You mentioned your wife. <laughs> I think anyone who has seen this ad now, millions have this morning, for sure, they love to kiss, Darius. That was a, that was a big deal. <laughs> you said it was the best thing you did. What does your wife mean to you? Uh, she's amazing. Uh, you know, it's, it's, she supports me. She brings the best out in, in me. And, uh, and you know, long term, I, I look forward to growing old with her. How did you become a Republican? Well, uh, just kind of going back to uh, an experience. My first time voting, uh, I went to the ballot box with my grandmother. She's going to kill me for telling this story. Uh, and uh, she said, hey, you need to vote straight Democrat ticket. I said, uh, I asked her why. And uh, she was uh, really adamant about me voting Democrat, but couldn't explain to me why. Now, now her personality is not like that. So it kind of you know, threw me for a loop that she would be so you know, strong about it. So I did it, but I went home and, and researched it on, on the Britannica. And, uh, and I said, hey, mom, you know, aren't you, you know, for you know, limited government and low taxes? And she said, yeah. I said, well, you, know, you may be a Republican. And we never addressed it since then. But if she hadn't have, uh, been so adamant about me being a Democrat, I probably wouldn't have even, even uh, questioned it. So it was kind of her behavior made me go home and, and, and check it out. So uh, ever since then, I, I've been a Republican. This is about 18 years old. What's the, I love that story, the Britannica there. We, she's great. She's also appearing, right? Didn't she appear in the ad? A bunch of your family yeah, she was the, Yeah, she was the second person, the uh, bright-skinned lady uh, in the middle of the street. I think the second person. Let me ask you this. Do you get a bunch of heat? Do you take a bunch of heat for being a black Republican? I, I do, but, but not for the reasons people think. You know, one of the... There are two issues with, in my opinion, this is totally my opinion, uh, when it comes to the party, uh, you know, and being, uh, getting black votes. One is uh, we don't address the issues in the community. Uh, yes, there's a lot of uh, plight and a lot of things that are, that are you know, uh, extreme poverty and you know, we got, uh, you know, bad schools and it's kind of a cycle. But however, our message is very confusing sometimes. Sure. To me, to me, it's uh, five points. Uh, uh, strong national defense, limited government, low taxes, respect the Constitution, and, and being responsible individually. Now, that's why I'm Republican. Now, I'm a Christian as well. I'm pro-life, okay, and I'm pro-traditional marriage. But being a Christian under those five points is not a criteria. I think a lot in the South, uh, you know, when you uh, ask a person to, to, to share the party's principles, it's almost like sharing the gospel. I was like, well, you know, I won't let like any party hijack my faith like that. So uh, it's just coming up with a shared standard around the country, whether it's the California GOP, New York GOP, or the Alabama okay. GOP, what is the Republican Party and, and, and being consistent on what that means. Darius, a strong message there. We wish you well in the district. Have a feeling this is just the beginning for you. Thanks for being with Fox and Friends. Best to the great Thank women around you. Thank you, ma'am.